You know what? I'm just gonna give the dynamite thrower a second chance. Maybe they just had a little bit of bad luck there. Maybe they can prove their worth. They're also the closest thing that we have to an anime girl. So maybe they have some kind of type advantage against tentacles. Who knows? <laughs> Fingers crossed. I get the feeling they're just gonna hurl that dynamite about two feet forward and then walk into it. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That game where we're constantly reminded that the battles are totally accurate, but the units are often not so much. Now up until this point, the Western faction has had a really easy time taking over the world. Mainly because they keep bringing guns to rock fights, let's be completely honest. But now they're facing off against the pirate faction, and I don't have a good feeling about this. Because they've got like, explosives and cannons and guns of their own. Like, I didn't sign up for a fair fight here. But I'm thinking we might still have a couple of dirty strategies up our sleeve. I'm thinking that that cannon in the back might have thrown it in a hard reverse. Try to get back up to the ship because its navigator is having some kind of seizure. Maybe we can attack them before they're ready. Don't give them any time to prepare. We could even outnumber them and outbomb them. We've got super cheap dynamite maidens. We can definitely get quite a few of them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the whole beach is going to get turned to glass, but I'm kind of fine with that. Uh, that, that kind of works. We got some dynamite on the beach. <laughs> There's a whole lot of explosions. They really need to tweak the name of this unit. I call it a dynamite maiden. They call it a dynamite thrower. It's more like a dynamite dropper. Change of plans. Okay, explosives are going to be their thing. Bullets are going to be our thing. <laughs> Bullets and cactuses, technically. I don't know if the cactus is explosive proof. I highly doubt it. I don't even think that it's bulletproof, technically. But they're going to make lovely little prickly martyrs. Just absorb as much damage as possible, guys. I want you to do your best to save the gunslingers that I'm going to put down on the boat, actually. I don't think the cannons have figured out how to aim up yet, so anybody on those ramps should be pretty safe. We could even put something like Quick Draw down on the beach. I again, I don't know if they can dodge cannon fire the same way they dodge bullet fire, but maybe. There's really only one way of finding out. I think I had a little bit more money left over there, but I don't think it's gonna matter. <gasps> Wait, they actually survived the explosions? How? <gasps> what are these weird costumes made out of? I'm gonna hop into the sandbox for a quick second and test some stuff out because clearly I don't understand enough about the faction that I'm trying to steer towards world domination. <laughs> so we've got three cannons again and I'm gonna put down three cactuses to see whether or not they are explosive proof. I really doubt it. Oh no, wait, I used the wrong cannon. Right, I was supposed to use the secret unit, the explosive cannon. This wasn't an explosion. It was just like getting hit by a bowling ball shot out of a potato gun. It feels a little stupid to say this out loud, but at least now we know that the cactus cosplay is cannonball proof. But is it explosive proof? Because something fishy is happening here and I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe because it's so prickly? Oh, uh, what? How did you survive that? Each of you took a direct shot in the chest and two of the three shook it off somehow. Uh, okay, so two out of three cactuses are explosive proof. It might have something to do with whether or not they get shot in the suit or the fleshy exposed bits. That results got me so thrown off now that I can't even remember what other questions I was asking. We had used the cactus, the gunslinger, uh, quick draw, right. Okay, let's see if quick draw can actually dodge cannon fire. I would imagine he can, right? Because it's a bigger, slower projectile compared to the arrows and the guns and stuff like that. So I have complete and total faith that you will catch that ball right between the nips. Okay. Note to self, don't use him against cannons. Getting back to the campaign with a level called Blackbeard's Crew. Uh, and like, I don't know about you guys, but I was always under the impression that Blackbeard was the captain. Like, apparently not, uh, apparently he was the anchors. <laughs> and they have four captains, which doesn't seem all that fair. They've also got a crew that's completely armed to the tits. Um, 
thinking we might want to try something like Deadeye. Yeah, if we put them up on the ship, they might be able to snipe the important units. We very rarely get units with rifles that are useful. They always end up being musketeers and just kind of firing into the dirt, but they're really accurate. Then we could toss down a couple of cactuses in the front, maybe some miners to help distract and delay, and gunslinger? You know, the pirates are pretty close together. We might be able to rain down a couple of shots on them. Yeah, I like it. We'll meet their bullets with our bullets. So long as Blackbeard doesn't make his way up and on the ship, we should be fine. I don't think he will. He has a hard time walking around as it is. He's only got one leg. <laughs> yeah, I think we should be safe up here. Good, good. He almost Michael Jordan his way up there. <laughs> I was close. Way to go, Deadeye. You're doing exactly what I want from you. Just stay up there, nice and safe. Keep shooting people. Everything is going to work out fine. Oh, come on. Really? We've got a level called Skeleton Army. Like, I did not think we were going to be facing off against the Spooky Faction today. Usually, they're just left out from the campaigns entirely for that exact shrouded, tentacled reason in the back. Like, it's really difficult to face off against the Reaper, especially when you have a super limited choice in unit. You know what? I'm just going to give the Dynamite Thrower a second chance. Maybe they just had a little bit of bad luck there. Maybe they can prove their worth. They're also the closest thing that we have to an anime girl. So maybe they have some kind of type advantage against tentacles. Who knows? <laughs> Fingers crossed. I get the feeling they're just going to hurl that dynamite about two feet forward and then walk into it. Really? Like... There has to be something wrong with this unit. There's no way that's how it's supposed to work. They're like lemmings. Now, to be perfectly fair, I haven't done a lot of testing with bullets against the Reaper. Now, it may be that they're super effective, you know, kind of like they are against everything in human history. <laughs> so how about we try the Gunslinger? I want to put down a couple of them and feather them out so that there's a couple of volleys, mainly for the skeletons. I need to get rid of all the skeletons so whatever I use against the Reaper can actually hit him. And if they're going to be at this choke point, then I'm thinking we might want to hold them here. Make it so that the gunslingers can do their work more effectively. You miners are really going to regret not wearing the overalls with butts on them today. <laughs> that is just a window of opportunity for the Reaper. You better clench up now. And we might have just enough money left over for a couple of dead eyes in the back. You guys can try your very best to snipe the Reaper. It's a strategy. I'm not going to call it a good strategy, but it, it is a strategy. See how the gunslingers do against all those bones. Okay, they've cleared the way. Now, if we can snipe the Reaper, there's two shots that went clean through him. Slightly problematic. Okay, we got him. <laughs> now we just have to deal with all of the leftover skeletons, which we can't do. <laughs> so close. Maybe that's where something like the Wobbly Horse would come in handy. I might even be able to afford three of them. Oh, I'm so close to being able to afford three of them. Well, I, I don't have any more units to cut, so I'm screwed. We'll just have to go with two and a cactus. And then just hope that they can actually get to the archers. Please do not get mowed down by the warriors or get completely demolished by the Reaper. Come on. <laughs> Very rarely do you see a horse fly. Oh, that is just miserable. Oh, oh! I thought we were gonna have a cacti hero there for a second. Oh, there's not actually many of them left. You guys might actually be able to outshoot them. Yes! They were all distracted by the backflipping horse. It's wonderful. Man, oh man, they really do not want to make it easy on me. We got a level called Spooky Army, and there is indeed a Spooky Army. They've got a bunch of candle heads and more archers, sword casters, and then the Reaper is back yet again. Great. Well, at least we have a general idea of what to do against the Reaper, so long as we have a couple of dead eyes way in the back, they can take care of him. Problem is literally everything else. I don't suppose Quick Draw would do good here. I can't imagine he's going to be able to dodge all of those projectiles. Oh, I might be able to use some of these secret units. What if we hit him with a couple of bank robbers right in the front? Just throw a bunch of safes at them. I could even try the old ball and chain as well. Something like that. 
And then I got a little money left over. I really want to use all of it, so there we go. Even if you guys just throw the explosives and fall over, I didn't see the vampires on the sides. Okay. Well, as usual, the saves did absolutely nothing, and everybody is dead before I have time to say anything. <laughs> what an absolutely miserable level. Like, I, I just, I, I don't have enough options to strategize. I know you're supposed to pierce a vampire's heart with wooden steak, but do you think a cactus needle might be close enough? We're gonna have to hope for close enough. I I'm thinking if they pin down a cactus, they're gonna be in for a bad time. That should save everybody in the middle. Who everybody is gonna be, however, I'm not sure yet. Definitely gunslingers, because this whole group is real compact. And then maybe miners in the front? Just trying to delay and cause a bunch of chaos and more cactuses and I don't know, man. Just use a little bit of everything and then just hope it comes out in the wash. That, that's really the best you can do. How you guys doing against those vampires? I think it worked. It looks like it's kind of working. There's just so much to see. Oh, oh, the cactuses are doing great against the sword casters. <laughs> Way to go, guys. They bought years of time for the dead eyes. Oh, oh, this is actually working. No, 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 lady, you don't want that good suck. Get, get him off, yes. Man, oh man, some of these levels are just emotional roller coasters. You see, now the game has me morbidly curious, what would one dead eye do against one reaper? It's not a fair fight, it's 2,500 versus 900, but if the Reaper is the only thing for the Deadeye to shoot at, then you'd think that she'd be able to do a decent enough job actually putting shots on target. Okay, so yeah, that is incredibly effective. It's not quite the, the Ballista. You guys have been telling me I need to try something with the Ballista, hold on. I've been getting a whole lot of comments from you guys telling me that I have to try the cactus against the ballista. One of the strangest units introduced in this, not just appearance, but like the fact that it has so many weird properties. It's arrow proof, but it's not bulletproof. It's sometimes explosive proof, but not cannonball proof. Is it ballista bolt proof? I would be surprised. I feel like the ballista bolt one shots everything in this game. So I don't see how you would be able to survive this at the very least you're gonna be severely hurt. Uh, what? <laughs> There's no way. So it's taking no damage? Let it land a third and then I'm gonna take control of this cactus to see what his health looks like. Just, okay, now, how are you? No damage whatsoever. Doesn't even notice. The fact that your neck whips around, no whiplash or anything like that. You're practically in a car accident, but nothing. That is amazing. I'm also really curious if it matters where it hits. Like what if we take control of this and then shoot him like in the face or in the arms or the legs or something like that? Do I even have the ability to aim? I don't think I really do. Let's try hitting him in the legs. I don't think you can aim in this game. It's totally accurate, except for when it counts. Try one more time. We'll go for the head. Come on, head shot. Oh, uh, whoa, hold on. Did, did that actually... I think that worked. I was aiming for his head, but I hit him in the legs and it did kill him. So the cactus bodysuit is the defensive part, but all the squishy bit in between are, are actually vulnerable. That's really interesting. Now this is something that I've been really eager to try in the game. You know, with the new Western update, they didn't just introduce the Western faction and the Western map and stuff like that, but also custom win conditions, which sounds an awful lot like my Protect the Hobbit series. You know, I'm, I'm just saying. Except in this case, we need to defeat the king. And I'm guessing the idea is we want to wipe out his little troop here and then get him before reinforcements show up because that's a lot of knights. So we're not gonna wanna waste any time. We need to hit him hard, and we need to hit him fast. I'm thinking gunslingers should be able to take out all of the minions in the front, and then hopefully a couple of dead eyes will be able to snipe the king. And I wanna put 
three miners right up in their face to make sure they stay nice and compact. That way the gunslingers can do the work a whole lot easier. I always feel bad for these miners because they end up being martyrs, but they make for great martyrs. Look at how well that worked. <laughs> now, dead eyes, if you would kindly do your job, do not shoot the guys in the back. Shoot the king, the one, shoot the one with the crown. Come on, ladies. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Why would they prioritize the knights? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> the strategy was flawless. The units were stupid. I honestly can't even think of a better strategy. Like, this is perfect. We just need our units to actually do their job. <laughs> Once again, we're gonna wipe out everyone around the king and then you two just need to shoot him. Just, just like that, exactly. Just keep doing that. Don't let up. Maybe take a couple of steps back or shoot him through the heart. That works. They finally smartened up. Next up, we have a level called Elude the Enemy, where I need to survive for 15 seconds. I'm not seeing the challenge in that. What would be difficult about avoiding a bunch of berserkers and Valkyries who look like they flew into power lines? I'm clearly missing something here, right? Like we could just put a couple of cactuses down in the front to delay them and then, oh, I don't have a lot of money. I see. So it's not gonna be a fair fight. I, I literally can't beat them. I wonder if I can, I can cheese units into the woods. Okay, yeah, good luck finding them in there. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> There's no way they're gonna be able to find you. Okay, that might be a little cheap. Oh crap, no, they totally found you. That's why they used flying units. Oh, are we good? Victory, holy crap, that was close. They almost swarmed you. Oh, this is really different. We've got two win conditions, defeat Shogun and defeat Shogun. So we've got one Shogun who's got all of his monk pupils, and then another Shogun with all of his ninja pupils. And the level is called Choose Your Poison. So I'm guessing I only need to beat one of them. Hopefully that's the case. If I need to complete all objectives, this is gonna be like borderline impossible. If I have to choose one of the two, then I'm definitely going with the ninjas. And I know what you're thinking, why would you want to pick a fight with ninjas? Well, it's because I've got this stupid little derpy guy who likes to dress up like a prickly hamburger helper mascot. And he should be ninja star proof. Except he won't be able to do much to the sh- Oh, wait. I can't shoot any kind of samurai. So I can't just use like quick draw or dead eye or anything like that. Oh, that's a- Problem. I'm going to try quick draw anyway. I think that the first bullet will be deflected and then hopefully the other five won't be. Nope, they'll all be deflected. We are completely screwed. <laughs> there is no way we're going to be able to kill this thing unless the cactuses have somehow ruined his arms. What is going on here? Yeah, they, they did something to him. I, I think his sword is stuck in the ground. Oh, crap. The others have shown up. Well, Oh, we actually did it! The cactuses did it! <laughs> They're such a stupid unit, but they work. I love it. I'm just gonna say it right now. If they have introduced a ton of different wing conditions into this, you guys need to give me recommendations because I really want to do an entire episode of your strange win condition suggestions. So I don't know if I'm gonna pick stuff out of the comments of this video or maybe on Twitter. I'll leave a link in the description of my Twitter if you want to follow me there, but I'll let you guys know an episode beforehand. I don't think that's gonna be next video, but I definitely need to do that at some point. This time around, we need to defeat Blue Team within 25 seconds. They've got a bunch of weak units, but they've also got a couple of captains because there are two ships. Okay, so we need something fast. Fast like a horse, maybe. <laughs> and then quick draws, and that might do it. I don't know if the wobbly horses can find their way up a ramp all too easily. No, the answer is they can't. They struggle, but they've gotten up there. Where did my quick draws go? I'm only seeing one. Oh, there's the other one. Again, they just really struggle with the ramps. Guys, come on, hurry it up. Eight seconds, we're so close. There's only one captain left. Shoot him, shoot him. Thank you. Right at the buzzer. 
Why are you trying to lasso him through the ship? What is wrong with you? Next, we have a level called The Chase for Zeus, where we need to defeat Zeus within 30 seconds. And of course, Zeus is gonna be the least of our concerns. We're surrounded, they've got a ton of units. Like, you can just tell that this is gonna be a kick in the pants. And it's the very last level of the Western campaign. So we should be able to close things out here. I've been able to use all of the units for these levels. Are you kidding me? Why am I only just now realizing that? Oh, it's fine. We're gonna finish things out with the Western faction. I've been doing my best so far. I think I'll be able to pull it off somehow. Maybe. Uh, like Gunslingers have been doing a real good job of just clearing out these big groups. So we got five-ish large groups, five-ish Gunslingers. Maybe a couple of distractions here and a couple of distractions here. And uh, dead eye to hopefully pick off Zeus. I really need your face in this way, girl. That's about all I can afford, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I feel so cheap. Look, look at my army compared to their army. I know I'm the one with guns, but they're the ones with magical lightning bolts from the heavens. Oh, that is just miserable. I don't suppose you want to turn around and kill the objective, because that'd really help. Okay, like... Once again, the gunslingers do a great job mowing down groups, but the problem with the mower is it can be short-circuited real easy. Even with access to every single unit in the game, I have no idea what the strategy would be here. It's going from too few options to too many. I, I don't know where to start. Maybe a couple of bards would help? You know, professional distractions? You guys could wander around, buy some time for my snuffleupagus guy? What if we put a couple of you guys there and you just charge Zeus? Get the feeling you're gonna be the ones who are easily distracted, but hopefully not. <laughs> the more tiny, weak minions we can put in the back to absorb lightning, the better. You know, in all reality, I don't think Snuffy really cares all that much about lightning. For him, it's like licking a battery. <laughs> not that big of a deal, it, it kind of smarts. Oh, oh, this is kind of working. Okay, give him the tusks. Come on, Snuffy. All you gotta do is just fall over dead on him. I don't care. Just do anything except for block each other. That's the one thing that I don't want. Uh, we got seven seconds here, guys. If we could get this show on the road, thank you. <laughs> Why does it always come right down to the buzzer? Like, it's just maddening. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. That ends the Wild West campaign. And I gotta say, thank you guys so much for supporting these videos. Now, ever since the update, I, I think I've made three or four videos completing the campaign, and all of them have done really well. Views, likes, comments, it's awesome. It's the reason that I keep returning every other day. So your support really does make a difference. I'm not just saying that. So as always, be sure to leave a like in the video. Let me know if you wanna see more, leave some suggestions, and then maybe soon I'll try some of these new alternate win conditions. Conditions. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.